It's been several months since the Universal Tournament, and everything on planet Earth is running its course without apparent worries. But if we get closer, we can see a beautiful woman carrying her daughter in her arms in a park, next to her apparent husband who is on the cell phone, taking call after call without stopping. Although this is normal in the life of a human, the beautiful woman is very upset, since they hardly spend time together due to the husband's work, and still do not appreciate an outing together. N18, Krillin, can you leave the phone for a damn second? She said, sparking with despair. Krillin, 18, you know that I must take the calls no matter where I am. Since I was promoted, I can't stop, and you know it he said, hanging up the phone. N18, at least you can try, you haven't been with us for a long time. I try to do my job as a mom, but I can't alone. Understand that this is two, not one. Krillin. Aha, if you say so. N18, are you ignoring me? She said, turning to see her husband, who was on the cell phone again damn, I'm fed up. After that little discussion, the family went home to rest. The couple did not speak anymore. They simply waited for dinner to exchange words. Krillin, hey 18, today I'm going out to see some friends from work, you know, things for work. N18. Krillin, again? It's been more than seven times since you went out, and we aren't even halfway through the month she said, starting to get frustrated you know what, do what you want, I don't care, she said, leaving the table, and taking Marin to her room, Krillin, at least it won't be cumbersome as always, he thought triumphantly, several hours passed since the husband had gone out to see his friends, and had not returned, reaching 12 in the morning, starting to worry his wife, who did not stop pacing from one side to the other, thinking, N18, stupid Krillin, where are you? I'd better go look for him. Surely the idiot must be drunk. 18 angrily left her home in search of Krillin in his most frequent bars, but it was strange to see that he was nowhere. She made some calls to the husband's friends, taking a big surprise, because none of his friends knew of a meeting, causing several doubts to begin to form inside the desperate mind of the android. N18, where are you? Cursed. She repeated to herself again and again, starting to look for his key but she simply did not find anything, making her search more exhaustive. It had been a long time since she started looking for him and found nothing. Bored and desperate, she decided to sit in the park where she had arrived. But someone approached her without her realizing it. Colon. Hello 18? N18, mm, ah, uh, hello Goku, she greeted with a depressed tone. Goku, what's wrong, 18? Are you okay? N18, yes, just that. Ah, uh, she shouted, starting to get frustrated. Goku, do you feel good? You look a little angry. N18, I'm not angry. Goku, I I. You almost left me deaf, 18. N18, I'm sorry, Goku. I didn't mean to yell at you. It's just that. Krillin has been very strange for a long time. He always wants to go out at night with his friends, but today I asked each one of them, and they told me that they didn't know anything about their supposed meeting and, to be honest, that intrigues me. Goku, do you think Krillin is being unfaithful to you? He said with great seriousness, making the words resonate in 18's head. Only one question caused a great feeling of uncertainty in the android, although she was more surprised that he knew the meaning of that word. Was he not a hollow head? The android wondered. N18, ah, if I think so, also how do you know what it's like to be unfaithful? Goku, because that's what Chi Chi did to me. He 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 said, releasing his innocent smile that his friends know so well. N18, are you serious? Oh I'm sorry, I didn't want to. Goku don't worry, it's over. Although I must say it, I really didn't feel anything when I found out. N18, do you mean that you didn't even feel angry or sad? Goku, the truth is that not. Just. Nothing. N18, and why? Aren't you spouses? Goku, well, I really married Chi Chi for a promise I made when I was a child. Besides, we are no longer married. I got divorced thanks to Bulma. N18, comma, I see. Goku, hey, you don't have to worry. I don't think Krillin would do that kind of thing. I've known him since he was little. N18, do you think that? Goku, of course, and just to prove it to you, I will take you to him. N18, seriously? She shouted, getting up from the bench. Goku, yes, just take my hand, he said, putting his fingers in front and stretching his hand. Okay, was the last word before the pair disappeared from the park only to find a very painful scene for the android. N18, damn hair. How could you do this to me? Krillin, 18, I can explain it to you. N18, do you really do this to me after everything we went through? After Cell, after accepting that you loved me, 
and falling madly in love with you? You're a wretch. I don't want to see you again. Damn. She said, filling up with a hotel room. Krillin, 18. Don't leave. Don't go, he said, starting to cry. Krillin, Goku, why the hell did you bring her? He said, lashing out at Goku. Goku, I didn't know you were doing this. She's also your wife. How could you do this to her? Krillin, that doesn't concern you. Goku, Krillin, you're right. It's not my problem. You have to solve this. I hope you can do it, he said, totally disappointed with his friend. Krillin, get away. We are no longer friends. Damn. Goku, goodbye, Krillin, he said, leaving the room. After that painful scene, 18 was already at home, starting to put things in a suitcase. At all times, she remembered that scene that hurt her so much. At that moment, her heart and soul were shattered. The man to whom she gave her life and love replaced her as if she were a toy. 18 set out to leave her home, taking with her a suitcase and her daughter, Marin. But something stopped her. Goku was behind 18. And 18, realizing that Goku was behind her, what do you want, Goku? Goku, hey? I'm sorry, because of Krillin. N18, why do you apologize? The one who cheated on me was that damned one. Goku, because I took you to him. I thought he would be working or something else. I didn't think he could do that he said in a sad tone. N18, Goku, leave it like that. I think it was for the best. Now I have to go. Goku, goodbye, take care. N18, yes, likewise she said. Leaving her home with her daughter, leaving Goku alone with his thoughts. Five months have passed since 18, and Krillin saw each other's faces. Since then, 18 has not been the same person. She is always crying at night. She began to drink a lot of liquor and smoke, and she also began to have economic problems, making her work in a fast food restaurant. But her problems are not finished yet. In the place where she stayed with her daughter, they don't take her away. 18 is already fed up, tired. She could no longer cope with so many problems despite being the strongest woman on the planet. She is already tired, frustrated, and desperate. The only thing that keeps her going is her daughter, her precious daughter. One day while 18 walked with Marin in the park, in the distance they saw someone familiar. That's right, it was Krillin with a very beautiful woman by his side. Although it had been a long time since that day, 18 could not help but feel bad. All those memories, those beautiful moments, you can't forget from one day to the next. Marin, look mommy, it's daddy, let's go to him. N18, no Marin, she said sadly. Marin, mommy, why are you sad? N18, sad? No, it's just that I got something in my eye. Ha ha, what do you think if we go for an ice cream? She said, pretending to smile to reassure the girl. Marin, yes, let's go. N18, okay, what flavor do you want? Marin, chocolate. N18, ha ha. Okay she said, arriving at the ice cream stand, can you give me a chocolate ice cream? Ice cream vendor, of course, he said happily, delivering the order here you go, N18, here you go daughter, Marin, yes, she screamed with emotion, starting to lick her ice cream comma, but when 18 turned around to go home, she collided with someone, bumping her forehead and causing the ice cream to fall, N18 idiot, be more careful, Marin, my ice cream, colon, hey, my head, N18, idio. Goku? Goku, ah. Hello 18. I'm sorry, I didn't see you. He 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 laughed, helping the android. N18. Ah, uh, don't worry she said, seeing Goku a little surprised. Goku, um, is something wrong 18? N18, ah, uh, nothing, just that you look strange in that suit. Goku, do you think so? Do I look bad? N18, no, I didn't mean that. You look, well she said, looking at Goku from head to toe surprised because Goku looked quite handsome. Goku, I don't know, these clothes are very uncomfortable, he said, pulling at the suit jacket a little. Marin, my ice cream. She screamed, starting to cry. N18, don't cry, Marin. What did I tell you? Goku, oh, I'm sorry for the ice cream. N18, don't worry. I'll buy her one right now. Goku, if you want, I'll buy it for you. Hello, can you give me a chocolate ice cream? Ice cream vendor, of course. Here you go, sir. Goku. Thank you very much. Here you are he said, handing over a wad of money. Ice cream vendor, be but sir, this is too much money, he said, surprised by the amount. Goku, um, really? It's just that I still don't know how to use these papers. Ha ha, he said, scratching the back of his neck. N18 Goku, where did you get that money from? Goku, well when I work and make the deliveries of the crops, they give me these bills, 
but I still don't get used to them. Since they give me many more, it's difficult to know how much I have to pay. Ha <laughs> ha. Here you go, Marin. Enjoy your ice cream. N18. How do you say? Marin. Thank you very much, Mr. Goku. She said, savoring the ice cream. Goku, don't you want 118? N18. No, no, thank you. Goku, come on, cheer up, he said, asking for another ice cream of the same flavor. N18. Thank you very much, Goku. She said starting to walk next to Goku by the way, Goku, why are you dressed like this? Goku, it's just that I had a meeting, or something like that. N18, a meeting? Are you working? She screamed, surprised. Goku, he he, believe it or not, I've been working for a long time. N18, and what do you work as? Goku, well in the crops. I just got someone who helps me. N18, oh I see. Goku, a ah, uh, frozen brain. He screamed in pain. N18, that happens to you for being a glutton. Ha ha ha. Goku hey, he moaned graciously, making the android laugh more. They spent several hours together, 18, and Goku, in the park. They laughed and started talking about their lives. 18 did not like the idea of telling him about her condition, because she did not want to hurt or grieve. The sky began to get dark, the sun was saying goodbye with its last rays of light, and giving way to the beautiful moon, and its accompanying stars. N18. Well, Goku, thank you very much for this day. Goku, you're welcome. You always have to be distracted for a while hehe. <laughs> N18 this. I have to go, I have a job tomorrow. Goku, oh, I see. If you want, I can accompany you. N18, no, don't worry. I'm fine. Thank you very much. Goku, I have no problem. Since I no longer live with Chi Chi, I no longer have anything to do. Haha. <laughs> N18. It's okay. All the way, they spent talking, laughing, and even joking. But 18 did not want them to get home because the condition she was in embarrassed her. Each time they got closer and closer, she could not help it. But at one point, it didn't matter to her because outside her house were all her belongings. And 18. But what the hell? She screamed, defeated. Goku, are these your things, 18? He asked curiously about the android's belongings while carrying Marin. And 18, yes, they are. I couldn't pay the rent, damn it, she said, frustrated, feeling disgusting. Goku, don't worry, 18. If you want, you and Marin can stay at my house. Although 18 did not like to receive much help, she had no choice but to accept. So, starting to fly next to Goku, little by little, they were approaching a very large house. 18 thought they had made a mistake, so she asked Goku. N18, Goku? Is that your house? She asked, doubting what Goku said. Goku, um. Oh yes, we're almost there. When the trio landed at the entrance of the house, they were received by a butler, which impressed 18. But what impressed her most was the size of the house. Butler, nice to see you again, Mr. Goku. I see that today you bring visitors. Goku, hello Yugen. This is 18, 18. This is Yugen. Yugen, nice to meet you. Miss 18, he said, bowing. And 18, ha hello, she said, bowing. Yugen, no, you don't need to do those formalities with me. I'm the butler. Allow me to take your sack, sir. Goku, leave it. It's okay. Come in, 18, he said, stepping aside to let 18 pass. And 18, thank you, Goku. While all this was happening, in 18's head, only one thing was happening. She kept thinking about why Goku had a huge house and even a butler. Although 18 had a huge curiosity, she did not dare to ask him, but she was taken out of her thoughts by a scream. Goku, it's true. Satan's party. N18, mm, party? Goku, yes. What happens is that it is Mr. Satan's birthday. And I organized a party, where I was going to invite everyone. N18, it's true. I received the invitation, but I was not interested. If you want to go, I'll stay with Marin. Goku, are you sure? Don't you want to go? N18, no Goku. Even if I wanted to, I don't have suitable clothes, she said, embarrassed seeing her clothes a little worn out. Goku don't worry, Yugen can get you whatever you want. Isn't that right Yugen? Yugen of course my lord. If you want Miss 18, I can bring you the dress you desire. And 18, no, no, thank you. But I'm fine. Goku, come on 18, go ahead. And 18, it's okay she said. Defeated but I choose the dress. Goku, it's okay. Yugen, do you know where they sell clothes? Yugen of course my lord. Goku, could you join us? Yugen it would be an honor my lord. After a while comma, the three were on the outskirts of a boutique. The moment they arrived, 18 was impressed, 
because the boutique was the most prestigious and most expensive in the city. Yugen, this is it mister? N18, whispering hey Goku, are you sure about this place? Goku, um, yes, why, don't you like it? N18, it's not that, it's just that it's very expensive here, and I don't have money to pay. Goku, are you sure? Well that wouldn't matter, if it's good, that's what counts. Also if Yugen recommended it, I think it's for a reason, and don't worry about the dress. Ha ha, he said before entering the boutique with the hesitant android behind him. N18, Goku, wait. Goku, um, what's going on? Do you feel bad? He asked, putting his hand in front of 18. N18, it's not that she said, taking his hand off her it's just that. I'm embarrassed to enter with these clothes. Goku, ha ha, don't worry, nothing is going to happen to you. N18, okay, she whispered, not very convinced, ready to enter the boutique. The moment they entered, a lady received them with a pleasant smile. Worker, good evening, how can I help you? Goku, hello. We want a dress for her he said, indicating 18. Worker, what kind of dress? We have straight cut, Kanisa, asymmetric cut. Goku, which one do you recommend? We're going to a party, he he. Worker, if that's the case, I have the ideal dress. Join me, miss she said, guiding the android to a fitting room. The worker, after taking 18 to a fitting room, took a dress, sneakers, and earrings and passed them to the android. Minutes later, the door of the fitting room opened, revealing a very beautiful woman. She looked like a fallen angel, her face seemed carved by the same angels, and her body was made perfectly. N18. What do you think? She asked, a little embarrassed, while she passed a lock of hair behind her ear. Goku, while you look beautiful, 18? What do you think, Yugen? He asked making the android blush. Yugen, she looks excellent miss. N18, but what are you saying Goku? She said, embarrassed. Goku, seriously, you look very pretty. Worker in view of the fact that you liked it. I'm making a note. It would be 116,000 zenus. In whose name would it be? N18, 116,000? She screamed, stunned. Goku me, Goku. Here you go he said, delivering the amount. After that scene, Goku and 18 went to Mr. Satan's party, arriving just in time to start a time of fun and distraction for the android and the Saiyan. Gohan, colon. Hello dad. I see that you could come he said, hugging his father. Goku. Hello, Gohan. How are you? By the way, where's Gotten? He told me that he was going to stay with Trunks. Gohan, colon. He's there? He is playing with Trunks. Hmm. Realizing that 18 came after Goku 18? Hello. N18? Hello? Gohan? How have you been? Gohan colon. Well, what about you? Why didn't you come with Krillin? At the moment that Gohan asked that question, 18 became very upset and avoided answering it at all costs. Goku, realizing this, intervened to put aside the discomfort. Goku Gohan, have you seen your mother? Gohan colon. Yes, she's with her husband over there he said, pointing to a table. After leaving that scene, there was less tension in the atmosphere, and of course, the party started, beginning with a speech by Mr. Satan, which was a little boring, but then the real party began. All night, Goku and 18 had a great time. They laughed, joked, danced, and talked. But all this happiness was interrupted by a person. Colin, what are you doing with my wife, you bastard? He shouted, hitting the table with his hand. N18? Krillin? She screamed totally surprised by the interruption. Goku, ah, uh, hello Krillin he greeted, smiling how have you been? Krillin, you are a damn traitor, what are you doing with my wife? N18, your wife? Let me tell you that you and I are nothing anymore. Krillin, the divorce paperwork is not finished yet, and you know it well, so while we are still husband and wife, don't put yourself in that position. N18, you're a bastard, get out of here. Krillin, I'm not going to leave until we talk. Listen, I still love you, and I know I did wrong. You really have to believe me he said, taking 18's hand. And 18 if you had really loved me, you wouldn't have cheated on me she said, totally angry, letting go of Krillin's hand don't think I'm going to swallow all that garbage of regret. Krillin, you, because of you, he shouted, pointing to Goku you will pay for this, damn it, he said, storming off. And 18 damn him, he just came to ruin the party, I'm sorry Goku. Goku don't worry, 18. Don't get angry. N18 Goku. Can we leave? Goku? Yes. After the two left, they started walking through the streets of the city. Nobody spoke. 
It was a somewhat uncomfortable silence, but at the same time, it was also a silence that calmed and appeased any bad memories. N18 thank you. Goku, um, why? N18, for all day long, I really appreciate it. It's been a long time since I had a pleasant day. You are a very good person, Goku, she said, looking into the Saiyan's onyx eyes. Goku, ha ha, you don't have to thank me. I really liked being with you. You are a nice person. 18 listened attentively to Goku's words, only able to smile at him. That smile, without thinking about it, would change her destiny, taking her on an uncertain path full of difficulties, problems, and obstacles, but at the same time, full of love and passion. After those statements, the two did not speak again, leaving a silence that appeased any problem. They arrived at the house, and everything went on normally. The only difference was that a feeling appeared in both without them realizing it.